Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of new affordable makeup. We have some items from e.l.f., from ColourPop, from Essence, lots of goodies. And if you're new here, I'm mostly a high-end luxury beauty channel. However, I personally feel as if I can't give you accurate luxury reviews without knowing what is fully on the market, both affordable and high-end, so that I can tell you from high-end and luxury what is really worth it. And of course, what you can get at an affordable price that's as good as the high-end and luxury. So I could get a Upon myself to periodically test what's new in the more affordable side of the market so that's what we are going to do today so let's get into it I want to say a huge thank you to Dermala for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys know I've struggled with acne for a while now. And look, you guys, it's all flat. This is all just scarring, which is great. And so I've been using Dermala products for months, so I really can tell you my thoughts on them. They make skincare products with your microbiome in mind. It's really, really unique. It's, that's what makes them stand apart from the market. So the line is inspired by the new research about the relationship between your skin and your gut. So they formulate their products to be biome conscious, which I think is really, really cool. They use patent probiotic based ingredients in their formulations. They do that to address the root cause of acne, which is an unbalanced skin barrier. So I want to show you some of the products that you can get. First one, I don't have it in my hands because I finished it. <laughs> so this is the Ends With Benefits. So this is just a great cleanser. So it has that patent microbiome complex in there. It also has pro-vitamin B5, a list of amino acids, and glycerin as well in there. Okay, this is one of my favorites. I'm fearful I'm gonna run out very, very soon. The Scantily pads, which are just basically topical little pads that have acne treatment on them. This has the salicylic acid. So that's my all-time favorite topical ingredient when it comes to those specific spots that you get. I always, always use this. So they have the supplements to be, which has the daily pre and probiotic mix. So it has zinc, vitamins, antioxidants, and spinach leaf extract and I had them send me these because I cannot live without these. These are the pimple patches and they are so good. So the ingredient here is hydrocolloid. I might have said that wrong. Oh my gosh, I only have like three left. So what am I doing? Why am I running out of these? Anyways, I'm a true believer in these pimple patches. Let me tell you, you just pop them on the pimples that you get at night. Just targets that pimple and helps the process of speeding it up to get rid of it. And this one is a new one. I haven't been trying this one for months. They sent this to me pretty recently, but I have to say, you guys, I think the moisturizer I was using before this broke me out because I stopped using that and I started using this and that is why my skin is completely bump free. But this does not break me out and I am so thankful. This is the Oat So Sweet Moisturizer. It sinks into the skin so fast. Very, very happy with it and it doesn't break me out, so that's fantastic. You can order all of these items individually or you can get a personalized kit that they'll create for you. All you have to do is take a personalized quiz on the Dermalo website and they will get you all set up. That's what I originally used was from their quiz and I love it. Anyways, let's get into the video. So I did get a very generous PR package from e.l.f. recently that had a bunch of their new launches and I've heard a lot of talk about this so I'm really excited. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. A lot of people are comparing this to the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, which I like, but it causes severe acne on me, so I don't use it <laughs> really. I feel like e.l.f. has a couple dupes for this already, but let's see. I'm always nervous with these types of primers though because I do not want to break out, but if you don't know, this just creates a really tacky base on your skin, which is supposed to be great for the longevity of makeup. I will admit, you guys, I do have more normal to dry skin, so longevity of makeup normally isn't too much of an issue for me unless makeup is really, really bad quality. I don't notice primers doing too much in the way of longevity, but I still like to use primers. So there we are, there we have it. Now, I do not have a new drugstore or affordable foundation to try, but... I did get the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin in yesterday, so we're just gonna try that. So this is my one little cheat for today. I have mine in the shade for 
neutral. And I will be filming a wear test on this on a different day. It actually should already be up. But since everything that I'm wearing is new today, today's not the day to do a true wear test. I am excited nonetheless. Oh, this looks like it is a good color on me. I was nervous because some people were saying that this ran dark. So I almost ordered 2N just in case. But no, this looks like the perfect shape for me. As you can see, look at that. Okay, this definitely gives like a light medium coverage because you can still see my acne spots underneath but it looks quite healthy on the skin. I was gonna say it doesn't spread out easily but I think <laughs> that has to do more so with the fact of the primer just grabbing onto the product. If you think about it, a primer like that might actually help with the coverage because it's holding on to that foundation. So we'll see. I'll continue testing this primer but that might be the reason why this has a lot more coverage because it's grabbing onto the foundation which is actually really really cool. That is the case but again I'll have to use this foundation again and I'll let you know. If you are my skin tone and you use me to color match, 4N is the business. This is a really great match for us. Okay, obviously I have a long ways to go to learn about this foundation, but it looks absolutely beautiful, but I totally cheated because it's definitely not affordable. <laughs> so let's get back into the affordable part. We're going to do eyebrows. I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation pencil really, really quick. This isn't new. This isn't technically part of the video, but again, I don't have a brand new eyebrow pencil. I, I stopped cheating from here, I promise. <laughs> do you really, really like this pencil though? This is one of my favorites from the drugstore if you are curious. Okay, I will clean up the brows a little bit, but first we're gonna shape it. Elf came out with a dupe for the ABH brow gel and it is called the Elf Brow Lift. Now I don't use the ABH, what is it, Brow Freeze, that's what it's called, too, too much. I have used it on a couple clients before. I mean, it is amazing, but let's see how this guy works. They also sent this lift applicator Let's use it. Let's find out. I didn't really, are you supposed, I'm not reading it. Oh, this is like a gel. This is not hard like the ABH. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. I don't know, it stops it from getting brown at least. Okay, let's see. I did not put enough on. That does not feel successful. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Okay, put a little bit more on. Okay, it's definitely not as intense as the ABH. I'll tell you that, the ABH is intense, but that might be a really, really good thing. If you feel like the ABH is too intense for you, I'm just showing you the capacity that it has, but I will be brushing my brows down. Like it is certainly telling them where to go, but it's not as strong glue-like as the ABH, which honestly, I kind of like that. I know I look like a maniac. Give me a moment. Okay, and I liked the applicator. The applicator is cool, but you can use any spoolie and be fine. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna take this and brush them down just a little bit. I guess they're just gonna be a little fluffier in this video. Not my cup of tea when it comes to eyebrow style, but we can do it for today. Now, for concealer and I'm also going to use it to clean up my eyebrows. We are going to use the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken Concealer. Really, really excited because I was actually one of the first people to try this concealer. I got to be a part of a Revlon campaign and promote it and it was so exciting for me. It has the sponge tip applicator and I do really, really like this concealer. Like, I wouldn't have agreed to it if I didn't like it. I think it's really, really nice. It's lightweight. It's very comfortable. Gonna use my sponge. This is a Shop Miss A sponge, by the way. $1.50. Can't beat it. And it's super duper soft. I'm just gonna put this on. I'm not gonna do any color correcting or anything since I am wearing a lighter coverage foundation. But it's a really good concealer from the drugstore. I'm not mad. I'm gonna actually put some, uh, right here in my spots as well. Just where I need a little extra coverage. Then I'm gonna add just a little bit of that underneath my brows because I feel like from where I was brushing, it looks a little dirty like right here when I was blending out the pencil. So we're just gonna clean that up. Mm, okay, I feel so much better about life now. We'll see how these stay. They don't feel as secured as the ABH would make them feel, but they still feel pretty, pretty good. Okay, this is not necessarily a new product, but it's a new color that I wanted to try. This is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. 
I do like this. This is in the shade Honey Drip. So I'm going to use this iconic London paddle brush and we're just going to place this where I want it. But this is a pretty good cream bronzer from the drugstore. If you're going to get a cream contour, I actually like the e.l.f. contour quad better. It's like a cream contour quad than the cream bronzer, but these are more warm. They give you a little bit more bronze and these are still very, very good. I just wanted to give you that option because I do prefer the formula of the cream quad a little bit more. Ooh, I like this color though. This is a nice color. Like I said, I haven't tried this color before and I really like it on my skin tone. Look at that nude contour. And then get underneath the neck with the rest of my product. Ooh, nice color. This one is definitely warmer than the other one that I was using. I think it was tan lines. So when I was using, I like this. This is good. And then I'm going to use my sponge and we're going to push that into the skin. Try not to swipe. And I actually... You know what? This is still blending really good. You can see I don't even have to swipe. I'm just patting it into the skin and it's looking really good. Okay, e.l.f. Love to see it. Gosh, e.l.f. is definitely my favorite affordable makeup brand. They stay on top of the trends and, you know, some of their products aren't amazing, but they do good with what you pay for sure. They really allow you to try out trendy makeup without breaking the bank. Okay, fantastic. Let's move on to blush. I have a couple options. So I have some of the Maybelline Cheek Heats. Not new, but they are new to me. I've heard bad things about them, but I do want to try them. If I don't end up liking them, I do have some alternative. But let's try Nude Burn. This one looks nice. Hopefully it matches the eyeshadow I end up using. I don't know. I'm only going to open this one because like I said, I have heard not good things about this. <laughs> but they did send it to me in PR and I was curious. I wanted to develop my own thoughts. Okay, so here's what it looks like on my hand. Okay, so it does kind of blend out, but let's see. It looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is because you can see, I mean, it blends out. That looks a little uneven. That's my fault. More on. It kind of gets tacky the longer it's exposed to air. And then let me push it into the skin, blend it out, make it a little bit more even. Oh, that is uneven. I don't know if that was my fault or the product's fault, but it looks kind of uneven. Uh, but once it's pushed in, it still looks uneven. I was gonna say, no, it doesn't, but then I got close and it looks uneven. <laughs> I'm having trouble like squeezing it out of here. Go back to the drawing board. Okay, I'm gonna spread it out my hand. I mean, it looks uneven on my hand too. That's a telltale sign, isn't it? We can work it out. We can make it work. I'm a firm believer of making products work. I don't know why people didn't like this. Was it because it was uneven? Because that's what I'm noticing. I just put a ton on the back of my hand <laughs> because the color does kind of uh, sheer out a little bit more than I would like. But I do like the finish on the skin. Like it gives a really pretty, healthy, hydrated look, but I'm not a fan of the consistency of it and the application of it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I really built it up. So we have color on the cheek and the finish looks really, really hydrating. There are better cream blushes out there for you. I don't think this is terrible, but application's a little bit of a mess. Pain in the butt, you have to build, you have to be slow, you have to be patient. I actually have two other colors. I'm going to put these in a pile to give away because I won't be using these again probably. I'll hold on to this. It's not worth discarding, because look at this glow. But there's a lot better cream blushes out there. I will say that. This is honestly not bad. My cheeks look really hydrated. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so I got this really neat new product sent in the mail from ColourPop. This is the Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. So they sent me a bunch of colors. At the current moment that I'm filming this, they actually haven't revealed it yet. So I don't know any details about this other than I'm about to set my face with it. So it does come with a powder puff for full coverage. We're not doing that today. I just want to see how it sets. So I'm going to use a Refer 18 brush. I'm using the shade number one fair because I want to use this to set the center of my face and kind of brighten everything. Oh yes, this has some coverage to it because you can literally see it brightening my face and covering the blush a little bit, so be warned. Maybe I should have brought a deeper color out. Ooh, I like this. This is nice. I'm gonna have to see how this acts kind of on its own as a powder foundation, but to set, it did a good job. Now it's sitting a little bit on top of my skin. It's not blending in seamlessly, if you can take a look, but I feel like 
as the day goes on and it settles, we will really like that effect. But upon initial application, it's not an amazing finish. Like it doesn't look as good as my Charlotte Tilbury powder, if you will. I think when the day goes on and oils come through, it will really settle into the skin and look quite natural. But I like that so far. I'll have to continue using it. But that did a good job of setting the makeup, so I'm not mad at it. And then for highlight, I pulled this guy out from Catrice. This is the More Than Glow highlighter. It looks really, really pretty. I love Catrice. They're very, very affordable, and I think they come out with some really great quality products. So I did get this sent to me in PR, but we'll see. I'm excited. So I'm going to use my Blinged brush, F17 brush. This looks like it's going to be blinding, so let me go a little bit lighter handed and I'm just gonna put it right where we want the Sun to hit don't want to blend it out too much because you can see it's a little bit icier than I like but let's focus on the texture here I mean if you put it on sparingly in just the high points how pretty is that and that blended into the skin really gorgeous I don't think I'd like this all over but the texture is beautiful and if you just put it right on that high point. Ooh, that's pretty. I am not mad at that. Let me put a little bit right here and a touch right here. Just a touch. Ooh, cool. I might incorporate that into the eye look when we get there, but if you're quite fair, I think you will really, really like this color. The texture is really beautiful. I'd be interested in trying this in like a gold shade. Next up, we have eyes. I've been dying to try these. I've heard so many good things because about these because they're so dirt cheap. I hauled these a while ago and I never got the chance to try, but these are the Essence eyeshadow palettes. They're like three, four dollars and the color stories are super duper cute. So I'm excited to play with these. The first one that I have here is Dancing Green. Green, which y'all know I'm tempted to use, but I also got I like to mob it, which I'm also really, really tempted to use. Okay, I'm gonna stare and do this eye and decide, and you'll see what we end up doing. Okay, guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm really not a fan of this palette. Maybe it's just the color. I'm still gonna give it dancing green a try because cooler purpley tones are hard, but this works like a $3 palette, maybe a little bit better. Like it's not terrible, you can make it work. I made a look, but you guys know, I'm a little snobby when it comes to eyeshadows. I just say I'm, <laughs> I can't help it. I still get excited about affordable options, but let me just show you. So I'm starting off with this shade right here. I'm gonna set it under my brow and then just kind of bring it down into the transition area. Cause this is the color that's gonna pop through and I'm just gonna use the same brush. This is an ABH blending brush. We're gonna use this shade right here. Now this shade, doesn't do much on me. It does add a very slight shadow. But when I used this, I was like, mm, mm, I don't love the way that it's blending out. I don't love the texture. I don't love the level of pigmentation, but it's fine. I wasn't writing it off at this point because this works, does the job. So you can see I'm putting a little bit underneath like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Luxie 229 and we're going into this shade. I love the colors that they chose. I think this is so fun. And I did decide to go with the purple, by the way, since I was wearing a cooler toned shirt. Okay, I'm being dramatic. It really isn't terrible. For $3, you probably couldn't beat this. I think maybe Elf's quality I like a little bit better for eyeshadows. But on this eye especially, I noticed this shade getting really, really patchy. And the shadows just weren't blending the way that I like. Honestly, it's working out a little better on this eye. So I'm not as mad anymore. It was looking very patchy on the other eye. And it took a lot of work for me to make it look seamless. Ah, this isn't bad so far. Still don't like it though. Comparing it to higher end shadows, you just can't get quite the seamless look in my opinion. I'm working it though. I'm making it work, don't worry. And you can too. You guys are very talented. But yeah, it's just not looking smooth like I wanted to. My sponge and kind of clean that up a little bit. Okay, and then let's move on to the shimmers. And the shimmers to me are very disappointing in this palette. I'm gonna start off with the darkest shade and they swatch good. This shade is okay, but it doesn't add too much, but it does the job, right? Underwhelming, but it's there. And this shade is the one that I'm quite disappointed by. It is so lackluster. Oh, 
Why did I do that? Okay, we'll fix that later, but it is so lackluster. I can definitely make these shadows work a little bit better if you wet your brush, but I just don't do that very often. I want the shadow to stand out on its own. I will do it, and when I use this palette in the future, I will have to do that. This is the best shimmer. I'm just gonna put it basically over. It's the best shimmer, but it's still not super impressive, but I'm being hard on it. I really shouldn't be because you guys, it is super duper cheap, really beautiful color color story and you can certainly make it work for the price point you know if you don't want to spend a lot of money on an eyeshadow palette it's definitely workable but it's personally not my jam but I'm happy that I finally tried it because this has been in my eyeshadow to try bin for weeks and weeks and I've been desperately wanting to try them so we got one out of the way I'll have to try the green and see if the green is better okay I'm gonna go in with more of the dark charcoal and I am going to kind of deepen this area make the look a little bit more blended I mean at the end of it all you gotta admit this look is pretty I'm not gonna lie it's a nice purple look and it's not that I even wouldn't recommend these palettes if you see a color story you really like something that you just don't want to spend a lot of money on I think it's worth a try especially to just experiment with color but in terms of if you're looking for a really good reliable eyeshadow I'd push you more towards elf as opposed to these guys okay, so in terms of eyeshadows I think that's about as good as we're gonna get I have to say really happy though that you can get this kind of color story from the drugstore or at such an affordable price because this is not a common color story to come by at this price point so I do like that and I do enjoy the look. I'm gonna take a bit of the Catrice highlight. Ah uh, yes this is amping up the look right here just this little inner corner pop. I could not resist the urge you guys and then right underneath the brow just kind of lift it a little bit. Beautiful! Okay I do have a new eyeliner to try. This is from Hard Candy. I got it in a PR package and it looks interesting. You're supposed to stamp in line. I normally don't like products like this but I thought it'd be fun to give it to try. I will say I do think this face powder is making my skin look a wee bit dry. Like I definitely want to set my face with some setting spray because it is looking a little dry. Okay so you're supposed to stamp wing I think and then fill. Oh gosh this is gonna look stupid but let's give it a try. Boink. And then boink. Oh, that angle was terrible. <laughs> My eyes are gonna be pointing upwards. Why did I do that? Whatever, we'll fill it in. It is what it is. I mean, honestly, if you can get the angle right, that will take some practice on my end. It's a good guy. I'm not mad at that. You guys know I can't talk to you or show you when I do my line. So brief intermission here. Do as you wish. Guys, this is where the video goes downhill. Um, if you're gonna use this, make sure you angle the wings right. I tried to fix it and now I just have things pointing straight up and they're uneven. <laughs> I think I'm personally going to stick to my own wing creation, but honestly, if you got the angle right, it really wasn't bad, but dang. Let me try and doctor this, and then I'm going to put on some mascara and lashes. I don't have anything new anyways, and we'll finish off with the lips. I'll be back. Okay, lash glue is drying. Lashes always save the day. My wings are pointing towards the sky. I actually really like the formula of this. User error. Okay, let's move on to lips. I'm really excited. ELF came out with a product that I've been waiting for them to come out with lip liners so they actually do have some lip liners but those were from a limited edition set they didn't have like a permanent range of lip liners so these are called the love triangle lip filler liner i am so excited about these i'm really excited to have an elf one so let's see what colors we have so you can see there's like a triangle here at the corner this one is like a soft pink i don't think i want that let's hope there's something a little bit cooler this one could work mauve okay yeah nothing is gonna be better than mauve and then the other color that they have is like a light brown which also would go good so a soft pink a light brown and a mauve i think they're covering their basis for these lip liners i like that color okay so let's see is it creamy it's not <laughs> It's a little bit waxier, which I like. I don't love this shape, honestly. Yeah, for the lip liner, I don't like this shape. Mm, I wouldn't say this is my favorite lip liner formula. I'm not in love with it, but for a few bucks, I bet you it gets the job done just fine. Not mad at it, but I'm not putting my Pat McGrath lip liners down anytime soon for this, if that makes sense. And then I also have a new product from e.l.f. Like, there's a number of e.l.f. products in this video, if you couldn't tell. I can't find a name on the packaging. That's so annoying, but there are these things. Yeah, they literally don't have a name of these. I don't know the official title. What are these? I don't know. So there's... 
basic beige, which might be what we use. Oh no, we'll do power mauve and pinkies up. So they have a beige, a pink, and then a mauve. So let's see. This is not a mauve. This is called power mauve. This is like peach. I don't like this color. Let's do beige. It's like a lip stain, I think. Interesting. Okay, let's try basic beige. These are very orange. They seem to like oxidize. All of them have such like a orangey reddish tone to them. These are like a lip stain, I think. They're acting as such like a glossy lip stain. It's not bad actually, it looks kind of cool, but just for the look that I'm doing today, it's not it. <laughs> Let me grab a lipstick. And you can see it does kind of stain the lips if you wipe it off. There's a time and a place for that. I'm not mad at that. I think it's cool that Elf is offering that. I need to do something to mute it out. So I'm gonna do For Ebbs from Morphe. There we go. Side note, don't sleep on Morphe's lipsticks. They have really, really good lipsticks. They're made in the USA. They feel very, very high quality to me. And final step of today's makeup look. I'm going to set it because my face looks dry. I'm pretty sure it's from the powder. This is the Elf Stay All Day Blue Light micro setting mist. I don't think I need a blue light spray. I don't know how I feel about that, but we need to set this makeup, so let's do it. Ooh, ooh, good mist. The mist right there is just gonna sell it, cause that was nice. Mm, weird smell, I don't like the smell of it. Oh yeah, this helped much better. I look much more hydrated. Thank goodness, because I was looking thirsty. Okay guys, taking a step back, here is the final look. All in all, I'm actually pretty happy with this look. Like I'm gonna wear this look for the rest of the day because I think it looks really, really pretty. So let's talk about the products quick round. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, I'm definitely gonna have to play with more, but it did grip. So if you like the grip, I think you'll like it, but this one needs to have a few more trials. Charlotte's Beautiful Skin, again, I'm gonna have to wear it. I already have a full review if you want my actual thoughts up at this point, so check it out. But upon initial application, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful on the skin. The e.l.f. Brow Lift, honestly, I'm not too partial to. I did notice my eyebrows kind of falling a little bit because it does put like a sticky texture in the eyebrows, but it doesn't really like, oh. I get it, that's what this is for, right? Cause I was gonna say, it doesn't like actually paste them to the skin, but maybe, I can't believe it took me until now to realize that. I was like, what is the spatula for? Okay, as you can see, now my eyebrows are pasted to my skin cause this is what I was just about to complain about. I was gonna say, but it doesn't really stick the eyebrows to the skin. That's why my eyebrows are falling. I get it now, and look, do you see it sticking? Oh my gosh, I'm very uncomfortable with these types of brows on myself, but, and I didn't even apply more product. Okay, um, I'm eating my words now. Don't listen to me. I think this is a good dupe for the ABH now. Uh, but I will say with the ABH, you don't really need to press it down. Like this, you have to take that extra step and you don't need to use this applicator. You can just like use the spoolie and the tool that you're using handle. But no, this seems like a great way to test out this style of product if you are interested. I stand corrected. Anyways, I don't know why that just came to me just now, but anyways, I get it now. The e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in Honey Drip. I really like this color for some warmth. I think it's pretty. I'm not too sure about the pretty fresh face powder from ColourPop. It made my skin look really, really dry. So I'm gonna have to try it out again just since I'm using a full face of all new products. Maybe it was something else, but I'm pretty sure this was making my skin look dry. Be prepared. There will be an update on that. The Cheek Heat, I don't really recommend. It's fine. I'm gonna keep it in my collection. I like how hydrated it make my cheeks look, but it was a little bit patchy to apply. Really did enjoy the Catrice highlight. It's not my cup of tea when it comes to the actual shade itself, but the formula is nice. Not the biggest fan of the Essence Like to Mauve It palette. You can still get a pretty look. I'm not gonna tell you not to get it because it really is dirt cheap. Look, the makeup looks nice, but it's not my favorite formula. The Hard Candy Eyeliner. I really like the formula of this so far, but I'm gonna have to practice using that stamp thing. But all in all, I like the formula. The lip liners are good if you're looking for a cheap lip liner. I like the options that they gave you. It's not my favorite lip liner though. Honestly, I like the NYX lip liners better. So they're not my favorite, but they work. And these e.l.f. things that I don't know what they're called, they seem like a cool glossy lip stain situation if you're into that, but everything is very like cherry like on the lips. So you have to like that look. I couldn't even, it, it wasn't gonna work with today's look, but. 
yeah, those are my first impressions of everything that I tried. Keep an eye out. If you don't hear me talk about these products again, I will in a makeup update. I have one before these products would go into one, so it will be a few weeks of testing these. But I do do product updates periodically every few weeks. So everything that I don't talk about again, if it doesn't make it into a favorites or anything, it will be talked about in my updates video. I put a lot of my more affordable products in that video anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Again, a huge thank you to Dermala for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I will have my link down below for you guys to check their products out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Wait, oh my god, I'm dead, you guys. I just looked in a mirror and I realized how lopsided <gasps> my eyebrows are. Not my best brown, not my best one.